Steve, what, are, what what you got going here? Well, we've got, I need to, I'll have to walk you back there and show you. Okay. But there's a utility buried right around through here, so we just got to start, when it's possible, we'll walk back and look. I rode it till, basically, I rode it till all of this. Yeah. I rode it till this because there is a utility over here and I wanted to keep you away from it, okay? okay. I don't want to get deep, but I got to start back here and just kind of shallow this hard. I can't touch this hard stuff. You see where it's so hard? Yeah. Well, that's a nice tiller too, but it's uh, it this is be. hard as a rock. This you, doesn't look like topsoil, does it, Catrille? It doesn't. Catrille's studying that kind of stuff. Look at it. Smell it. <laughs> it don't smell like topsoil. It's clay. It is clay with sand in it. They say they had it tested. Can you smell it? Topsoil. <laughs> topsoil has a lot of has organics in it. There's no organics in this, so I questioned them this morning. So the guy that owned the company said. He called the guy that brought the topsoil, and he said, we've had it tested. It passes for state spec topsoil. He says this will grow grass like it is, and we're going to give her a shot, because if it doesn't, he's going to come take it all up, and we're going to put grass down. That sounds he's good. He's going to redo her. Okay. <laughs> hey, let's till this up and see what we can come all up right. with. You but, think I can till it? If you can't till it, we're in trouble. Nick, come over here. Oh, my. now this is soil over here. Right. This looks more like our garden. Yeah. Right. Now, that rototiller wouldn't phase this. I can, I'll, I'll send this for a loop. All right, get as close as that as you can. There should be oh, no way. Yeah, I, I may have a little trouble up here. Well, but if, we'll you, see. if you can't, you can't. All right, but I want you to come out to that edge, and I think I got all the, there were stumps buried. And just kind of stay with my face and make a few passes in here for me. Okay. That's all I got. Okay. What kind of work did you do? You did, you said you did union work. What, what kind of work oh, did you I, run? Well, the last five years I've been on this deep rock trial project. Deep rock? tunnel yeah 250 foot underground downtown Indianapolis from Southport to it's gonna go up to uh, up around the Coliseum there's a tunnel going all the way there how big a tunnel 20 foot diameter I got pictures I'll show you in a minute what's what's the tunnel what's going for? on they're gonna store sewage in it clean oh, water maybe I don't want <laughs> well I don't want anything to do <laughs> with this instead of everything going into the creeks and streams they have to store this the federal clean water Act. 20 foot diameter for what 20 miles oh it's gonna be bigger than that Made it, didn't get rich, but I made a decent living. I you to get into this. This is my, um, it's my Corvette and my young blonde babe, all in one. I decided this was cheaper than a Corvette and a yeah. lot less trouble than that young blonde babe. Now that's true. And my wife thought so too. That's true. Right? Your mom? Yeah. Well, <laughs> most of the time. <laughs> so she said, go right ahead and get it. I'm not sure that's exactly what she said. Uh-oh. <laughs> Gotta have a little revisionist history here. There you go. <laughs> we don't want to get special right in here. We don't get very deep, but back in there, we only got about this much topsoil in there. Down below, it's, it's got that rock dust. There's gonna be some rocks, so we don't want to get too deep. Okay. okay. Well, that's the kind of detail I have trouble with. <laughs> okay, so tell me that utility again. See this red mark here? Yeah. It comes right around through here. And it may be on out further in the rock. I think you'll be all right if you just, just kind of skim What this. utility is that? Power to the house. We, we've dug wow. We've dug down. We've had this all marked out. We've dug down the boys. I mean, we've located all that, but we never did find it. Well, the power is going to be deep enough, unless you've well, taken a lot of dirt no, off here. No, no. The power is going to be deep well, enough. Well, it should it's not be. Gonna be a problem. You just want me to back up that way. Now, I understand I'll kind of throw the dirt the direction I'm coming from, so that, that yeah, works for you. Yeah, you can start, I just think you turn around and start here and go that way. Okay. All right. That's what I want to do is whatever you just assume me do. <laughs> So you said that this was an in-ground pool? It, it was at one time. It was? How long ago? It got tore out last week. Oh, last yeah, it's week? It's been here for 40 years. Oh, wow. Okay. You're going to get to see this tiller bounce a lot in this hard soil. This occurs when the weight of the tiller is not enough to hold it down. Basically, when the soil gets so hard, the tiller just won't be able to dig in.
This type of situation is why you need a heavy tiller. A lightweight tiller will actually encounter this problem much more often than a heavier tiller. The hard soil is what causes the bouncing, but the top hook of the quick hitch exaggerates it. I can't remember anything that's been this hard. There's a little bit of play there between the top link pin and the tiller, even with a bushing on it, and the size of the hook on the quick hitch. Any freedom of movement at all in that area is going to allow that bounce to be magnified. Perhaps this is why the King Cutter salesman I was talking to said they didn't want their XB tillers ran with quick hitches. Or perhaps it was just because the XB tillers don't fit a quick hitch. So uh, what's the process if you try to turn your in-ground pool into a, a grassy area? What do they, what do you, how do you go about that? You have to go to get a permit from the city of Indianapolis. Oh, all right. I imagine that's a pain. It is. And then do you fill it with uh, dirt? Well, you have to take it all the way out. All the concrete, all the concrete the comes really out. Has to come out. Everything has to be hauled away. Okay. Well, first, you have to do all the prep work, all the saw cutting, all the jackhammer, getting it all away from the house and the patio. Okay. Then you have to get equipment rented. Haul in or bring it in yourself. So, what kind of equipment did you have here? We had excavators, skid steers, dump trucks. Wow. Because this pool was. Uh, it was 10 foot deep on this one end, so I had a pool that went basically from that fence almost to the corner of that patio. Wow, that's a big pool. I always wanted a pool in our backyard as a kid, but my dad never let me. Now that I'm older, I kind of understand why he didn't want a pool. Sounds like a lot of work. Well, if you don't use it. Yeah. We used it, the concrete needed replaced, and we got some bids to redo it. Well, the people were going to do the work backed out, so we decided to take it out. There you go. What he does in five minutes, it take me. Well, I don't think I worked on this six hours today. Wow. He does a good job. Yeah, when he first got the tractor, I wasn't so convinced that it was, you know, gonna be a good necessary thing. piece of equipment, but. It's certainly made a lot of jobs easier, and I think I've learned a lot from it too, because like I didn't grow up on a farm or anything, yeah. so it's been a good learning experience. Does he have any other attachments for this? Does he have a greater box and all that? Um, he has uh, like forks and a backhoe, and um, man, there's a lot of a soil compactor. Yeah. Um, right now a post hole digger oh he does yeah and then we have like a, a snow blade you can push snow with or a little cold to push snow you yeah. have a cab but you gotta no we don't have a cab no you can take this to the county soil conservation service and, and oh i'm going to yeah, I don't think it's possible, so we'll find out. Well, the first trip over was the worst. Once I got it beginning to break up, then I was able to tell without so much bouncing. I think it's already looking better. I mean, oh, not yeah. all the way done yet, but... Oh, yeah. Better be walking behind the tiller. Yeah, yeah, sure. The only bad part is that it's getting a little windy. And uh, as the soil gets looser, I keep getting blasted with more and more dirt. You're blasting me with dirt. You need a little dirt. You're right. You've been inside too much this week. Yeah, too much in the classroom. Maybe I should stand somewhere else. You think that'd be better? Looks like you're too tall for your specified location. For those of you that uh, can't see, there's kind of a low overhang on this house, so we're not just being dangerous for the fun of it. Just afraid we're gonna hit the house, which would be bad. So I just got home for the weekend. It's Labor Day weekend and uh, 
Yeah, I knew that Dad had some sort of tractor thing going on tonight, but I uh, totally forgot to change my shoes. So, um, they're cool shoes, but maybe not the best tractor time with Tim shoes. They're good for lab work though, because you know they they meet the closed toed requirement, but they're still comfortable. So dad's trying to look really close and make sure that he's not gonna accidentally fling some dirt onto the glass or break any of the concrete around their house or anything. Uh, so that's why he's going so slow here. Also, I really like the windows. Take most of the rock out of it. Yeah, You're, it's really looking pretty smooth once it gets tilled. Yeah. You don't have too much uh, rock going on yeah, here. Looks like there's a couple old tree trunks here. Maybe some new tree trunks too. That is some nice soil right there. That's probably got the uh, proper mix of organic material, uh, loam, and uh, porous space, air and water. I ought to have you take, a, take some of that soil well, back there, you know it? Well, I thought about it. Problem is, I don't know how I would test it. I don't think I have any, uh, the proper equipment. Wow, after tilling that other stuff, this was a dream. He likes to play. He really does, that's what this is for dad. It's a relaxation for him. Yep. But if you do it every year for 30 years, he gets old. Yeah. See, he grew up on a farm and oh, then- mm -hmm. Where at? Southern Illinois. Really? Yeah. That thing's impressive as far as that's concerned. Yeah, when there's good soil, it, yeah, well, it yeah. looks really good. Oh, yeah. I, I'll be shocked if that grows. Yeah. It's, they say it will, they guarantee it. So. I so I was gonna put the peat in it, but yeah, they say it'll grow if it won't. I guess. I mean, if you can get just a little bit of grass going, it'll start well. making its own. Oh, I've got the, the, the hay mat, the straw mats. Oh, the, yeah. So is this going to be more grass or you think? Yes. Yeah. Then the old fence hall has to come down. All the fence rows have to be cleaned out. Oh, okay. New fence has to go up. All the pool junk away. Yeah. Start redoing the patio room. Wow, you got big plans. Put the hot tub in, put the pavers in for the patio. Wow. Uh oh, big stick. Oh, wow. be a stick long. Yeah. Well, Steve, what do you think? Looks pretty good. You like it? Yeah. I haven't met anything yet that I couldn't tell. You couldn't tell? But that this the was close. It's tough, wasn't it? This is some of the toughest. We had one other batch where we were under a above ground pool that had been there for years and years. Where it compacted and compacted and compacted, yeah. Yeah. And uh, But this, I think, was just as bad. But if you would think there was an 11 foot hole there at the beginning of the week. Well, I don't think it'll go down much more because I think they must have compacted it pretty good. Well, we put some dome dust in the bottom, but still high. We'll see. We'll see how it shakes out. We'll see, if she, we'll see how she grows grass. Was this what you were hoping for? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. I wish I never even got that this morning. That was a waste of breath. Oh, you went and bought that thing? No, I rented it. No. Okay. You know, 
we till gardens for people all the time and and you know they say oh your price is too high your price is too high we i'll just do that with a walk behind and the thing is you get the speed on your you, you do a better job you there's you, no way of course yeah. if i could if i could get to where i could have turned around a little yeah. easier you wouldn't see it near as rough but yeah i can do well you saw what i did out there on oh, your yeah. garden part oh, i mean yeah. it's just oh yeah you just yeah. can't do that kind of a job with no, a walk no, behind they, well, it'll be a surprise to me if you can make grass grow in here. Guarantee it, they say. I guarantee it. They may have to live up to their guarantee. What do you think? We'll it's find out. Now, by the time this is all said and done, I've probably got oh, 14,000 in this little project. So this has been kind of a retirement project for you to clean this place up. Well, we were going to redo the pool. We wanted 30,000 to redo that pool. Well, you can't travel and have a pool. Yes, well, sir. I think that about covers it for this one. And I uh, appreciate the uh, time, Steve. And We'll see you next time on Tractor Time with Tim. I just like to make a note that I uh, did indeed get my camera man job back. I'm glad that was my favorite job. I'm a crane operator. I like watching cranes on YouTube. Or I was. I'm going to have to watch Little Track.